abdominal hernias abdominal wall hernias are among the most common of all surgical problems they are a leading cause of wall loss and disability and sometimes later Four of the most common types are epigastric, umbilical, inguinal, and femoral. By definition, a hernia is an abnormal protrusion from one anatomic space to another. With the protrusion with the protruded parts generally contained in a sac sac like structure formed by the membrane that naturally lines the cavity. An um, um ferrocyl is characterized by extension of a viscera from the abdominal cavity into the umbilical stalk with the contents covered by a translucent bilaminal sac consisting of fused amnion and peritoneum. On occasion, the sac 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 as prenatally or during delivery, thus becoming harder to identify. The underlying abdominal wall defect exceeds 4 cm. The umbilical vessels insert in onto the sac and travel along its left superior aspect to the abdominal wall. On the other hand, gastrocesis is present when mid-gut viscera protrude through a central abdominal facial defect and are not covered by a sac. The extracorporeal viscera are exposed to the amniotic fluid in utero or to the atmosphere postnatally. The responsible facial defect is usually less than 4 cm and is almost always immediately to the right and inferior to the umbilicus. Anterior abdominal wall. The anterior abdominal wall is composed of multilaminal mirror image of muscles. The associated aponeurosis, fascia, fat, and skin. Laterally, three muscle layers with fascia run obliquely in relation to each other. It inserts into a flat white tendon known as an aponeurosis. The paired rectus abdominus muscles originate on the pubis inferiorly and insert on the ribs superiorly. The muscle head for transversely oriented tendinous bands. Variable space at the lateral margin of the rectus abdominis muscle is, is the linea semi lunaris where the aponeurosis serves as an injunction for the lateral musculature. The lower edge of the 
posterior sweep midway between the umbilicus and the pubis with its can concavity oriented toward the pubis define the semicircular line. Above this line, anterior and posterior lamina form from the region of the internal oblique aponeurosis. The posterior lamina joins the transversus abdominis aponeurosis and forms the posterior rectus sheet. The anterior rectus sheet results from fusion of the anterior lamina and the external oblique aponeurosis. The external oblique aponeurosis from the external lamina of the anterior sheet below the semicircular line. Fusion of the internal oblique and transversus abdominis aponeurosis forms the internal lamina of the anterior sheet. The arcuate line of the abdomen, abdomen rena semicircularis or Douglas lines is a horizontal line that demarcates the lower limit of the posterior layer of the rectus sheet. This is also where the inferior epigastric vessels perforate the rectus abdominis. The posterior surface of the rectus muscles is covered with transverse cellus fascia below the semicircular line. The midline lina alba represents the cessation of these fibers from the different aponeurotic layers. The external oblique muscle originates on the lower the eight ribs with obliquely and inferiorly directed fascicles inserting into its aponeurosis. Deep to the external oblique muscle is the internal oblique muscle with obliquely and superiorly Super, superiorly oriented fascicle is arising from the iliac fascia deep to the right ear, right ear half of the inguinal ligament. The anterior two thirds of the iliac crest and the rhombodorsal fascia. The internal oblique muscle inserts into its aponeurosis, the rectus sheet and the lower ribs and cartilage superiorly. The transversus abdominis is the most internal of the lateral abdominal wall muscles. The fascicles gener generally are transversely oriented the transversal abdominus arises from lateral iliopubic tract. The iliac crest, the rhombodorsal fascia, and the corded six ribs. It insights principally into its aponeurosis and fuses with the internal oblique aponeurosis to become the posterior rectus sheet. The corded margin curves to form the transversal abdominus aponeurotis arch. As the upper edge of the internal ring and above the medial floor of the inguinal canal. In 3% of cases, this arch may combine with internal oblique aponeurosis to form the conjoined tendon. The genital branch of genitofemoral 
the genital branch of the genital femoral nerve also known as the external spermatic nerve in males is a nerve in abdomen that arises from genital femoral nerve the genital branch supplies the cerebrus termus cerebrus muscular cerebrus muscular muscle and anterior scrotal skin in males and the skin of mons pubis and labia majora in female 1.5 inches or 4 cm long inguinal canal thank you